Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm heading down to Green from my house to grab some diesel and I figured I'd do my intro while I'm driving around here doing nothing. Um, hopefully I won't be too distracted to speak. So, yesterday's reseller was Dee from The Thrill of the Thrift. Um, she's a YouTuber, she does a lot of live sales. Um, I believe she's on Instagram, Etsy, and eBay. Um, here, I'll check out the view. Uh, yeah, so check her out. Tell her I said hi. Hit the share button, the thumbs up button, comment, the whole thing. Um, so yeah, every day I am doing a shout out for a reseller at the end of my videos. In the beginning of my video, you can look in the description and see all of the YouTuber resellers that I have and um, with their links. <clears throat> if you're not on it, let me know. I'll get you on it and eventually get to do a shout out for you. So um, there's that. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Steve Forgash, owner of Brickhouse Salvage and Antiques. Check out the cows. In Smithville Flats, New York, which we are right now. Um, we deconstruct buildings for salvage. Um, we do picks. We do clean outs. Anything from an entire estate right down to one bedroom or a basement or an attic. Doesn't matter. Clean it out. Salvage whatever we possibly can and resell it. Trade it. Barter it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Almost everything gets reused. Um, so yeah. Also check me out on eBay. Just Google my name. Brickhouse Salvage and Antiques. And um, all my links will come up. So that's enough uh, self-promoting. I'll talk to you guys a little later. See you. Check out the view. Hey guys, made it back to the gas station. Yay, it's about 10.30. Hey, um, I'm waiting for my my heating guy to show up. I figured I'd come in. Um, I don't know if anybody really knows or cares. I've been on a keto diet for probably a year and a half. And um, I'm doing good. It's not a strict keto diet. It's kind of a carnivore keto uh somebody's here crap um kind of a cardio uh i'm sorry i totally lost my train of thought i have to go out and see who this is but um yeah i've been on a, a carnivore keto paleo diet it's not very strict but i have reduced my i've taken all carbs out of my life except beer and um carbs grains Sugar of any kind is out, gone, and forgotten. I haven't had sugar in, wow. I had some maple syrup probably a couple weeks ago on some, some of this gluten-free pancake mix. Wow, if you're on keto, I don't know if this is strict keto, but it's gluten-free. Oh man, I'll tell you, if you have aches and pains and arthritis, and. I'll tell you, it definitely helps. Um, I can't attribute everything to it, but... Hello! 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 Out ah, in the house! I'll be, I'll be out in one second. Ah. <laughs> I'll be right out. <laughs> I got a customer. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I've been feeling 100% better. But um, two months, I want to say three months ago, I hurt my arm. I've been kind of semi-working out, doing curls and stuff, and I guess I stressed the tendon in my arm that attaches my bicep to my arm. And uh, man, I was outside lifting something. It was kind of heavy and stuck, and I 
pulled it and jerked it and I felt something rip and pop and holy crap wow I've, I've torn my meniscus I've torn cartilage I've broken bones and toes and fingers you know wow that put me on the ground it hurt like hell and um I didn't get it fixed for probably three weeks and every time I jerked it the wrong way I would go through that again finally finally I got it repaired and um, but that took me totally out of ketosis it threw, totally threw my diet off and I've been fighting to get back there again uh, I'll tell you I put eight pounds back on and I feel it um, so I'm working on it right now uh, this is the start I started uh, fasting again uh, what I do is make keto coffee to get me through the fast I didn't need anything but I haven't had anything to eat since six o'clock last night I take a good chunk of very good butter Kerry Kerry gold I've got some pink Himalayan salt I do like half a teaspoon maybe not even just enough to give it a little bit and a little bit of cayenne pepper just a hair just to spice it up and then just whip the shit out of it. That's it. Usually is a different cup, but that's it. I gotta get my ass outside. Whoa! That's it. Uh, it's an acquired taste, but um, the fat and the butter helps you, you know, ride it out a little better, ride out the fast a little better. Um, the first time I did this, I did a three-day fast, and this was all I had. That was it. Water and uh, this. It helps. It helps you get through it. And I'll tell you, fasting really pushes you through. Oh, shit. Gets you into ketosis quicker. And man, I'll tell you, after years of feeling horrible and rotten and not wanting to get out of bed, I used to take the stairs from my house down one step at a time, two feet on a step, like an old, old guy. <laughs> and I'm not far from being that old guy. Now, but. I think once I get back into uh, shape again, it'll feel a lot better. Man, the last year and a half has been great. So, you know, check it out. Who knows, it may help. Talk to you soon, see ya. Hey guys, it is 12 o'clock. It is uh, still February 14th. And I just had a couple customers, uh, neighbors stop by uh, they're great people. They live right up the road from me and they're they stop by occasionally with stuff for sale. They clean out their garage and Check this out. I like these things. I love old cast iron stuff um, So I've sold these before but I didn't know what they were. He told me they're for pianos uh, I need a knife. We're moving around pianos easily. Kind of makes sense. Look at that, huh? I love this stuff. Old casters are just great. You know, they put a little more time and energy into making them look cool. And they actually work and don't break. Got those. And something else. Look at this. I hope you can see it. Ah, look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Not sure how it works, but isn't that cool? <laughs> ah, ah, nice. Some 
sort of thing for moving stuff. Uh, it's not broke. No, it's not broke. Nice. Again, you know, it's got the casters with the holes in them. I don't know why they did it, but they just look a little extra, extra special. Pretty cool. Look at that. Uh, so we're moving something. I don't know what, but I like it. So oh, that's going to get cleaned up and going on eBay soon. Probably won't sell here. So it's my excitement for lunch. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, oh boy, it is 1.37 and I've had three people here at the barn sale today, so it's been pretty dead, but you know, I didn't expect much anyway, so it is what it is. Hopefully I'll get some more uh, eBay sales and maybe do some listings today, I don't know, but I'm doing a liquid lunch. I cracked the bud, it's 1.30 why not on a sunday and i'm working gotta have some kind of fun in life right hey well if you don't know it's time for the reseller shout out Woohoo! yeah boy guess who it is today um uh yesterday was d d's got a lot of subscribers she's doing really well but man she just kill her effort into it. Not that everybody doesn't, but uh, yeah, wow. Today is Wendy from, I can't see, ah, Lucky Charm Wendy. And that's D-E-E, -E, not Y. Check her out. She is just starting out. I mean, like literally just starting out, uh, like months ago. She's got about 130 subs, subscribers, and um, she's doing really good got a few videos up and uh it's just, just moving up man moving up moving up check her out um she's on a bunch of other platforms and right now i don't know which ones they are but as usual go to google punch in lucky charm wendy and i am sure they will all come up <clears throat> i've realized that's the easiest way to find everybody's platforms that they sell on check her out and um, hit her up. She's got 130 subs. Let's let's try to bang her up to 200. Come on, let's do it. Hit her, hit her, uh, her YouTube page, and just just hit subscribe, and hit um, a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell her I said hello and hi. And uh, let's get her up to 200. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I subscribe. Hit the bell icon, hit the top button. Check it out, watch, do this. All right, now I'm gonna unsubscribe for a minute. Don't get scared, Wendy. Subscribe. Now, hit the all button. When you do that, it'll give you a little notification up there, a little red thing that says one. And that's all it does. It doesn't blare sirens, it doesn't throw alarms, it doesn't send you emails, it doesn't bother you, it does nothing but when you log into YouTube, you'll see a little red thing there saying, hey, you, look at me, I got a notification. It's painless, great. That way you know um, everybody you wanna watch just threw something up, threw up a live, threw up a video, threw up whatever. Ew, they threw up. No, you don't want to know that. Check it out. It's really easy. So do that. Check Wendy out. And uh, blow up her channel. I know I don't have a lot of subs. I've been averaging about 70 views. Anyway, I, I got to get it up. Come on, guys. Hit my thumbs up. Hit the page. Uh, blah, blah thing. And go nuts. I've only had one beer. All right. Hey, I think this is going to be it for me. I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow for another one. Have a great day. See you.